Hello, welcome to the weather update. It's 9.30, December 27th, and boy, what a disappointment today. We were supposed to have a mostly sunny day. All the models said we were going to have a mostly sunny day, and what happened? We were cloudy all day. I kid you not. Uh, absolutely crazy. This is the uh, Moda satellite. You can see socked in the clouds. Here's the satellite loop, and you can see pretty much our area was socked in the clouds today. Um, you can see all those clouds there, just mid-level clouds, and you got some high clouds coming in. Uh, and you can see just the southern half of Jer just the southern, really southern New Jersey, like south of Atlantic City. They're the, they're the only ones that had a mostly sunny day. Everybody else was pretty much stuck in the clouds today, and this was really just not predicted by any of the models. None of the models predicted this, absolutely none of them. And we're going to go over that in this weather update. Right now, uh, as far as the conditions across the area, temperatures generally are around the freezing mark, uh, not getting the radiational cooling, obviously, due to the cloud cover. So there are a couple of areas that are in the 20s, but more or less, we have 32 degrees at Islip. So let's go look at our highs and lows. Let's first start with the lows. And we really didn't see much radiational cooling last night. Temperatures generally got into the mid-20s. Again, the cloud cover, uh, persistent cloud cover. High temperatures today uh, were in the warmer today. We finally did make it above freezing with highs generally in the mid-30s. Looks like some upper 30s uh, in Ocean County. And then as you go further south, uh, down, past Atlantic, down to Atlantic City, you're in the low 40s today. Um, so... I'm gonna look at our conditions right now, and again, just a real, just a mess with the with the with the with the weather. Uh, let's go to the weather prediction center here, so you can take a look and see what we have here. Despite high pressure over our area, despite all the models just saying we were gonna have a sunny day, we just had clouds. Kind of, I kind of can't explain it. Um, so, looking at the model right now, you see we're under the influence of a high pressure system. We should have had a mostly sunny day, but that's not what's happened. So. Look at the models here. You'll see that high pressure, and it will keep us dry. Oh, that's the good news. It will keep us dry uh, until we get toward the weekend. And then the weekend, your New Year's weekend, is going to have rain in it. Yes. So, yeah, and it just stays above normal um, throughout. So let's take a closer look at uh, the HRRR here. Obviously, no precipitation uh, forecast for uh, no precipitation forecast. Uh, for, the, for the rest of this week. That's the good news. Um, looking at our wind flows, you can see we have that westerly flow tonight. Uh, dry air stays in place tomorrow. You can see that becomes more of a southwest wind tomorrow. Um, and that will bring the temperatures up. And then you can see that west to southwest flow continues here on Thursday. Here you go. Um, and if we want to go to the th temperatures now. Um, my shoulder is really bothering me today, too. The good news is I'm seeing the doctor tomorrow. So uh, looking at our temperatures tonight. So we will get below freezing tonight. Tomorrow, though, uh, we should make it into the 40s. So probably mid-40s tomorrow, low to mid-40s probably. More like low 40s, maybe mid-40s in New Jersey. And again, we'll probably have some clouds around. Tomorrow night, we will not be below freezing. So after we finally made it above freezing, we're below freezing for uh, quite a few days in a row. Which, again, is something that used to happen a lot, but now is a rare occurrence. And now, <laughs> we're not going to be able to get below freezing for a while. So, as we get into Thursday, we're getting even warmer. Upper 40s, possibly 50 in New Jersey. Um, and then, moving it along, we want to move it along now to Friday on the GFS. You'll see uh, for Friday, probably similar temperatures, low 40s, upper 50s. And then the weekend gets even warmer, and then we have those rain chances uh, that we'll have to deal with. Uh, so let's go look at our skies and see how oh, everything got messed up with the skies today. All right, so this is the GFS, and still, this is this is the 18Z run, and it still doesn't have clouds over us at 7 o'clock when there were clouds over us. So I don't know why the models are not picking up on these clouds, and they still don't want to pick up on them, and, and, I, don't, and, I, and I just don't understand it. Uh, so it, may, it gives me very low confidence in the models going forward. This is the GFS, and as you see, as we get in the next couple of days, we're not going to have any clear skies at all. Maybe Friday, maybe. Um, other than that, it's going to be, and then the weekend's going to be unsettled. Uh, so, let's now go to a higher resolution model. Uh, FV3. We'll go to the FV3. Well, let's do the FV3. Alright, we don't have that much of the 0Z running, so again, I'll show you the 12Z run and show you again how wrong it was with today. So this is the 12Z run. You can see it had clear skies over us. 
And then Wednesday, tomorrow we'll have more clouds. And then Thursday, clouds probably. Uh, maybe more sun by the afternoon. Um, if I want to go to the R gem, which will be the next one uh, we can look at here. R gem has some high clouds over us tomorrow. Less clouds for Thursday, but there could still be some high clouds. Won't be a nice sky. Then Friday, I mean, we still may have high clouds. I mean, we don't have the kind of pattern to get a nice sky now. So I'll be surprised if we do. Um, again, and again, we're in a really crappy pattern for a while now at this. There's no We had like five days of winter, and now winter is over. That's it. That's your winter. So it's nuts. It's nuts. But yeah, I mean, I don't understand why uh, the models did not pick up on those clouds. That's what I, none of the models did. It, it's kind of a mystery to me. Um, let's go and look at the Kona's view. And maybe the Kona's view can give us some insight as to why. I think I know what's going on. All right. So you know what's happening here, right? Uh, here, if you're looking at this, you see the moisture streaming in along the west coast. So what we have, I think, and we'll put this in green here. So what we have is probably more moisture than the models. Oh, that's probably not. I need a bright green. Let me come on. Right color, please. Yeah, it's better. The models underestimating the amount of moisture coming in in this like plume here. All right, and so this plume is then coming over here, and then it's. This is this cloud. This moisture is coming all the way from the Pacific Ocean. All right, so you will you, you do have nice clear skies if you're in the southeast, uh, but this plume is kind of going up and over, and this kind of gives you an idea of what the jet stream is doing. All right, so why are we getting this moisture? Why the models did not pick up on this? I want to go to Earth Null School and I want to look at some parameters on here for a moment. All right, uh, so let's go look at sea surface temperatures and sea surface temperature anomalies, because I have a feeling I know what's going on. Uh, well, slightly above normal, the water, slightly. But whatever the case is, there's more warmth in the ocean, which is creating more moisture than the models are picking up. And that's that's my theory behind what's going on right now. All right. And again, if we look at the jet stream here, uh, this kind of also shows the jet stream. You can see the mess it's in. All right, so we're in a zonal pattern now, so... Uh, you know, zonal pattern, no no trough, you know, and we're going to stay with the zonal pattern for a while, and it really sucks. Um, but I figured I would bring this up because, again, you have this moisture plume, and again, if we look at it, we can actually show one here as well. You have this st big storm here in there. What is that? Where is that brownish? What is that, smoke or something? Yeah, why is that brownish like that? But you have this big storm over here that's kind of stuck over here, so if we actually... Kind of show you the high resolution here. Nice if we could get one that's all right. All right. Well, this is the best we can do. And that one's not so great either. So we got this storm here. And I'll, I'm just trying to explain why it might have been clouding and the models did not pick up on it. So you have this storm and it's just pulling moisture in from warmer than normal mid-Pacific waters. And that moisture, again, more moisture than the models thought. So more and more of that moisture is getting in at the mid and high levels. And that's what's bringing these clouds in. And then you have your low pressure system. Change the color, give you a low pressure system over here. Uh, and uh, that is just pulling that in. So that's that's probably what's going on. Um, that's what probably happened. That's why we had the clouds today. So a big disappointment, obviously, because now, you know, the wind last, what I thought was going to be the last cool sunny day. Well, now I'm going to have to wait. Perhaps a couple of weeks for the next cool sunny day in wintertime. It's really messed up. Ben, this is just another sign of the climate crisis that everybody just wants to deny. So um, that's it for this weather update. My arm is killing me. Have a good night.